Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving a functional equation. This problem is from the book Functional Equations and How to Solve Them by Christopher G. Small. I'm going to share the link down below. So we have two functions f and g. They're both from reals to reals and we are given an equation. f of x plus g of y equals 2x plus y plus 5 and we're supposed to find an explicit expression for g of x plus f of y. So something that looks like the first equation, we're going to find something in terms of x and y. So how do we deal with these kinds of equations? First of all, this equation is pretty interesting because we have two functions instead of one. So here's what I'm going to do. I'll start with the first equation. Let me rewrite it. Now, one of the strategies that we always, almost always use with functional equations is replacing x and y with certain values, especially 0 and 1 are very good values. So in this case, I'm going to replace y with 0. And in this equation, I'm getting f of x plus g of 0 equals. Now, you got to remember one thing here. There are two different functions, and also we are using two different variables x and y. When I replace y with 0, I'm not replacing x with anything. So x stays as this. Okay? Let's just make that clear. When y is 0, this is going to be 2x plus 5. Great. Now, how does this help, right? Well, think about this. g of 0 is a constant. So let's call that something. What can I call it? I have many options, but I'm going to pick b for this. You'll see in a little bit why I pick b. So this gives me f of x plus b equals 2x plus 5. Now, you know, for these kinds of equations before we replace x plus b with another variable like a u or a z, and then at the end we replace the z with x again. And some people are asking, like, are they, how, how come you can do that? They're not the same x, but I'm going to use a slightly different approach here, and we'll replace x with x minus b. Okay, let's go ahead and do that on both sides. That's going to give me f of x minus b plus b, which is f of x. And right hand side is going to give me 2x minus 2b plus 5. 2b or not 2b. That's why is the b there. Okay, great. So now I got f of x, which is nice because it's important to be able to isolate one of the functions here. And we got a value for f of x. We don't know the value of b, but that's okay. It's just a constant and that's fine. Now, we're going to be using something given, of course, and if you look at the original problem, we were given that f of x plus g of y is equal to 2x plus y plus 5. This was given, and then that's where we find the f of x from, but we can use it again. Let's go ahead and replace x with this here and see what we get. If you replace x with x plus g of y on the right-hand side, we get 2 times x, which is going to be x plus g of y, and then minus 2b plus 5. And this is supposed to equal 2x plus y plus 5 from here. Great. So this is the value that I got by using the definition of f of x. Now this equality or this equation is very important. Take a look. 2x plus 2 times g of y minus 2b or not 2b plus 5 equals 2x plus y plus 5. Now here, I can get rid of some of the terms. 2x cancels out, 5 cancels out. And that leaves us with something simpler. This gives us 2 of g of y. And I can just add 2b to both sides, y plus 2b. Of course, my goal is to get the g of y or g of x. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. Let's go ahead and do that. And this is going to give us g of y equals y over 2 plus b. Okay, this is the expression for g of y. And what am I going to do from here? So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. We have an expression for f of x. We do have an expression for g of y. Great. Now, what are we supposed to find? We are supposed to find the value of, let's go ahead and write it down. We need to find g of x plus f of y. Great. So we're supposed to find an expression for this, but how do you find it? Let's go ahead and write it down by using the definition of g. We have that g of y equals y over 2 plus b. So how do you evaluate 
something like this. Well, you got to replace y with x plus f of y in here. Let's go ahead and do it. So g of x plus f of y is equal to x plus f of y divided by 2 plus b. Great. Now, so this is what we're trying to find. But what is f of y, right? So that is the question we need to ask. What is, what is f of y? Well, we do have an expression for f of x, so we can use that, right, to find f of y. But what is f of x, right? Let's recall that f of x is equal to 2x minus 2b, or not 2b, plus 5. So to find f of y, all you have to do is replace x with y. So what we're trying to find, g of x plus f of y equals x plus f of y, which is 2y minus 2b plus 5, all over 2 plus b. And then from here, I'm finding the answer, g of x plus f of y equals, and I'm going to make a common denominator, x plus 2y minus 2b plus 5 plus 2b all over 2. And now we can say 2b or not 2b. And we get our answer, g of x plus f of y is what we were trying to find. And that is equal to x plus 2y plus 5 divided by 2. So we got what we needed. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.